Can you pass the basal insulin challenge? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a quick video to see if you can pass the basal insulin challenge. So what do we mean by that? Well, to get out the pens and start drawing, let's have a quick look. Let's start with black, shall we? So, anyone that watches the videos knows I like a graph. So here we have the time of the day. So we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening. Here we have your glucose levels. Now, by basal insulin, we mean that once a day or twice a day insulin that's looking after things in the background. So typically, you'll inject this and you get the same amount of coverage throughout the day. It's gradually dripping itself consistently into your system over a 24 hour period, and then you would give another dose. If you're on a pump, it's slightly different. So this is more for people that are injecting insulin, but not exclusively to them, because you might take something from this if you're on a pump. Now, what's quite common with people that are on a basal bolus insulin, insulin regimen, in other words, they're taking rapid insulin at their meals, or someone that's just on a once a day insulin, is they find that their glucose levels start to trend up throughout the day as they eat. Now, obviously, if you're on rapid insulin, you can accommodate this by adjusting your doses. But still, it's quite common to see people's trend coming up, particularly at this last meal of the day, where they might get the dose wrong and they end up high in the evening consistently. Others who don't have the luxury of rapid insulin might just be on a once a day insulin, but that's really not designed for food. So you can find that their glucose levels start to rise throughout the day. And so their healthcare um, practitioners advise them to keep increasing the insulin. Now what this tends to create is this scenario where we're increasing the background insulin and so glucose levels start to drop overnight. So maybe if we put some numbers to this, so let's say 5, 10, 15, 20, if you're watching um, other, elsewhere other than the UK, multiply these numbers by 18, that will give you your readings in the US and in Europe. So then you get this big crash, so let's say you've gone to bed at 15, you're waking up at 5 or 6. That's a big swing. Now, obviously, if this happens every night, that's great because now you're back in target. It sets you up better for the day. But the basal insulin challenge is basically a test to see whether or not your basal insulin is correct. And it goes like this. Can you go to bed with a glucose level of seven and wake up with a glucose level about the same? Six, seven, eight. That shows us your basal insulin is keeping your glucose levels steady. Because the problem with this big drop overnight is if you went to bed with a glucose level of seven, let's say you're off your food, let's say actually you got this evening dose better and it reduced your glucose levels into target, you're gonna have a problem because you're gonna hypo. And that's not good, that's bad. So it shows us actually that the basal insulin is too much. So a quick way to test if your basal insulin is right is can you go to bed with a glucose level of seven? and wake up with a glucose level of seven. If you're getting high glucose levels before bed and you're on a basal bolus regimen, the problem isn't basal, it's one of these doses in here. And if you're getting high glucose levels and you're on a once daily insulin, then that shows us that that insulin's probably not the insulin for you because there are other options that will help you accommodate food without causing this big crash overnight. Obviously speak with your healthcare practitioners and healthcare teams as they're about to look at your actual glucose levels, this is very general principles, and then they can advise you what might be the best thing. So try it out yourself, guys. See if you can pass the test. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share the video to get it in front of more people. If you need an extra helping hand to get on top of your glucose levels or make a lifestyle change, we offer consultancy services. Head over to diabetesdietguide.com We'll work with you to get you to where you want to be. Thanks a lot.